Okay, guys, we got a story coming out of Chicago. Three killed, a man with a gun. He held one lady hostage at IHOP. Killed three. Listen to the story. Tell me what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. Police say the suspect at the center of all of this is dead tonight. We have team coverage on the situation. And let's start with our co-anchor, Karen Jordan. Karen, still a very active scene there in Evanston on the border with Chicago. Yes, Robbie, still very active. Still a large police presence here several hours after a deadly shooting here at the border of Evanston and Chicago. Investigators from both cities trying to piece together a long string of deadly, uh, deadly crime spree that started on the south side of Chicago and ended with the shooting suspect dead here in Evanston. Investigators tonight identifying that suspect as 32-year-old Jason Nightingale. It was 538 when Evanston police responded to a call about a man with a gun in the CVS at the intersection of Howard and Western. When they arrived, the suspect ran across the street to an IHOP where he shot and critically injured a woman he allegedly took hostage. We have a uh, police confirming that the person shot inside the IHOP. As I was over here parked uh, by IHOP, there was a body down here uh, shot up at, uh, on the ground, a female, probably like in her mid-40s. Uh, Bleeding out. Evanston Police Chief Demetrius Cook says the gunman then fled again, engaging in a shootout with the officers in a nearby Dollar General parking lot where he was shot and killed. It was an exchange of gunfire. I'm not sure who fired first, but uh, it was in response to violence that he perpetrated in our town. So Chief Cook saying Evanston investigators are collaborating with Chicago police to piece together Nightingale's crime spree that started on the south side of Chicago earlier in this day. For that part of the story, we're going to go right to Alexis and Adam. Let's be back, Alexis. Karen, as you know, it's been a chaotic day. It all started in the city's Hyde Park neighborhood and ended here near the Evanston area. Overall, seven people were shot and five dead, according to Chicago police. Those numbers still rolling in. And some of those people are in critical condition. Right now, investigators try to piece together exactly why this gunman opened fire at so many locations across the city and killed innocent people. Tonight, crime scene tape winds around the city's Hyde Park neighborhood, marking one of the spots in a random shooting spree. It began around 3 o'clock when a gunman walked in this condo building in the 4900 block of Southeast End and asked to use the telephone, then opened fire. And he proceeded to walk in the building, I think she told him like he had to leave the building and then he shot. So then she began to run and um, he shot her again. Two women were shot in the lobby, one was killed. Neighbors tell me the woman killed was the longtime door woman at the complex. She's a good person. She has, um... Two kids that I know of. Just a block away, police say the same gunman shot and killed a University of Chicago student near a parking garage. The university putting out this statement saying this is deeply painful news for our community and our south side neighborhood. The university will provide support for members of the community affected by the incident. Uh, we are responding to the scene as these crimes are happening, getting information, uh, and again, He's going to the next spot. We're trying to keep up with what happened previously. Uh, by the time we put it all together, he's here in Evanston. And tonight, Chicago police and Evanston police still trying to pull all of those different crime scenes together. Once again, those new numbers coming in just moments ago from Chicago police telling us seven people shot during this crime spree and five people killed. Other people are in critical condition tonight who were also wounded in this shooting spree, including a 15-year-old girl who was in the backseat while her mom was driving earlier in the Chicago area and was shot in the head. She's fighting for her life right now. We're going to continue to get more updates on the other victims in this case and more on the government. Red, hold it while she's going.